Hey guys. <clears throat> so, <laughs> instead of doing uh, something about technology, I think I'm just going to play a game on my 3DS. And can you guess what game that is? Let's put it this way. It just came out. Not in America. Everyone's playing it right now who has a gateway chip. That's right. It's Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> so as you know, I have a all my consoles are, are modified so they can play downloaded games or backed up games. So let's play some Super Smash Brothers. Now I've been playing this for many hours actually so far, just because I really really like this game i mean if i were to give an honest review of this game i would say this is the best game hands down on the 3ds i mean luigi's mansion is really good that was my that was the first game i ever played and it really really blew me away with the 3d graphics and everything but this uh this game you know i love super smash bros on every console and this one is just as good um <clears throat> so yeah i don't know what this really says i i don't i don't speak or read Japanese but uh, apparently this is to turn it into a controller for the Wii U so if you're playing Super Smash Bros on uh, your Wii U you can use this as another controller which is kind of cool because my friends are going to get Super Smash Bros so I'm definitely going to uh, probably bring this over to their house and plug this up as another controller and uh, you know I don't really understand these icons like let's say here here is like single player here is well actually this yeah i'll show you it this is like brawl it's just uh brawl yeah i got okay brawl and this is multiplayer brawl over the wi-fi uh this i think is the nintendo network if you wanted to play online with other people um over the nintendo network instead of just local wi-fi uh let's see this green one <clears throat> um oh god what is this i forget um it's that weird um like you have to get power-ups it's like brawl but you have to get power-ups to uh you have to kill monsters and to get uh buffs and stuff like that and then that's obviously the wi-fi version and then this one you'd think is settings but no that's actually single player here's the story mode that's story mode uh this is a multiplayer story mode i believe or no i'm sorry this is multi-man um <clears throat> like how it was in uh brawl and stuff like that um and then that's to customize your character. So I'll show you show you the character I made. That's me. <laughs> I have a it looks like a Koopa shell on my head and some sort of lightsaber sword looking thing. And all my stats are even with each other. <clears throat> Alright, so let's let's play some game. I'll play a brawl match. I can't wait till this thing is out because I really want to play online with other people, you know? See how how good I am. How 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 good I actually stack up to other players. What I like is down here, you can here's where you customize the levels of the CPUs and stuff, you know, if I want it. Um, per personally I'll just leave my three. I mean I'm I'm not that good. <clears throat> I'll just set it for random. Gam Falcon is my favorite character. Um, yeah, so I unlock some characters, I unlock some levels. I hope I'm not ruining anything for you guys here. Hopefully you've seen other videos like this online. Um, I actually haven't watched any videos online. As soon as I saw it was available for download, I immediately downloaded it and started playing it. Um, just because, I was, just because I was so excited about it. So, I love that they put this map in there back from the Nintendo 64 version. Star Fox level is my favorite. Ugh. It's gonna be a little hard for me to play here because <clears throat> uh, the shield is the right button, the right shoulder button. Uh, X and Y are for jumping, and left <clears throat> left shoulder button. Yeah, left shoulder button is for grabbing. Which uh, man, it's really hard to keep this focused on the camera. <laughs> Ah, jeez.
Oh, got two of them. Oh, I hate that. See the little guy from, uh, I think he's from, uh, what was that, what was that game called? I forget it. It's, it's been forever since I played any of those older retro games, but, um, yeah, I got this, and they have this boomerang thing. I don't know what game that's really from, but you can basically throw it and it just comes right back to you, which is okay, I guess, but except for the fact that if you want to use another move, you're kind of screwed. The uh, smash moves seem to do more damage than I remember in the in the other games. I don't remember them like really just being that strong. I hate the rabbit ears. Oh god, they make you just run out of control here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh, they got this S. Okay, I got basically when you get this item, this S. Uh, flag thing. You gotta run as far away as you can and hold it up. And hopefully nobody hits you. Ah, dang. Uh oh. Did I even get a kill? Ooh, I almost got an S there. Let's see, did I win? I won. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember if I killed somebody. Let's see what the score was in the end. Let's see. Two. Oh, jeez. All right, yeah, see, that's how difficult it is to play in front of the camera. <laughs> All right, let's let's um, let's go back. I'll show you a bit of story mode. I, won't, I don't really don't want to ruin anything for you guys, but... Oh, damn. I unlocked the level. Let's see what I... What? Wait, what did I unlock? What, what the hell did I unlock? I think it's a level. I don't know. It says you unlock the level or something. Hang on. We've got to find out what that is first. Let's see, what, what do I have that's new? Mm -hmm. It's going to take me a second. The icons are so small, you got to look at them individually. You know, you got to go back and forth here. Oh, it's F0 level. It's the classic F0 level. That's funny. Hang on, we'll just we'll take a peek at this level real quick. I'm I'm pretty excited. I just got this. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny. It's like, ah, oh, jeez, it's like the Super Nintendo version. Actually, yep, okay. there we go. <laughs> it's difficult to t press the buttons in Japanese. Basically, every time there's a menu, the only thing I know is whenever there's a menu up, the right side is yes, the left side is no. That's, that's another thing I can tell you. Okay, hold on B to go back. <sighs> I'll show you some of the single player. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 and then this one. Okay, this one's like just... You're going across a board. So you're going across a board there. This other one is where you fight them by year of when uh, you know when they were created. And then this one is the sandbag challenge. We have to hit the sandbag so far, you know. And okay, that's yeah, it's a training training mode. All right, let's uh, show you a little bit of the storyboard. Um. It, does, it really doesn't matter who we play as. Uh, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega, Yeah, they call him Rockman in the Japanese version. Um, um, I'll just dial it way back. Because Mega Man, for me, Mega Man's not that great of a character. Yeah? I, I, I saw the preview. And then see here, we, okay, we're split. I'm going to go the way of Sonic here and verse Sonic. And you get this uh, bonus thing at the bottom here. It's like roulette to see what your bonus is going to be for this game. <clears throat> and, yeah. That's another thing I like about Mega Man. Like, he can charge a shot. That's pretty cool. Just by press... That's his smash move, so that's weird. See, so his... Um, 
His smash move is shoot, which makes it really odd. You know, it's like I'd rather him just punch forwards like every other damn character. I like this up spark move. That makes sense. Yeah, I like his um his up spark move. That that's good. But the forward smash move, I'd prefer him to just punch or something. Like why why do a charge blast? Uh, uh, it's so annoying. Okay, let's see. And then at the end of this, like let's say I get to the very end of this, it'll be master hand and cra crazy hand. You know, right hand, left hand. Um, or I can I can choose actually if I want to take the easy route or I want to take the hard route. And I don't really know if there is like if you get any sort of bonus for doing that. You know. Yeah, I don't know if there's any sort of bonus for really doing versing Crazy Hand or not. <clears throat> but yeah, god damn. Ugh. I'm sorry, but he, he Mega Man sucks so bad, I really don't even want to use him right now. I should say Rock Man. I want to show you something else that's funny. This is Charizard over here, right? Lizardon. It's not Charizard. It's Lizardon. <sighs> so weird. And then here's a secret character, too. Here's Pit. Pit, okay. Uh, then there's... If I can find him. Yeah, where is he? Uh, over here. Black Pit. So there's White and Black Pit. Why? <laughs> Their moves are very similar. <laughs> so goofy. All right. Let's go back. I'll show you this real quick. Oh, that's what yeah, that's what it's called. It was called All Star in the other game. By the way, I really like Lizardon. He's really good at the training bag, the training bag stage, because um, he can do this down smash move that does a lot of damage, and it it throws him just far enough where I can keep hitting the sandbag. But anyways, it's just because he hits hard, and you know he's not like King DDD with who has just, in my opinion, useless moves. And he can fly too, so it's really neat. Oh god. I hope I'm not moving the screen too much here. But I'm really just trying to concentrate between fighting these three people. These three players. There we go. See? Look how powerful those smash moves are. I mean, they don't have that high of a percentage. That's his down smash move. You saw that? That was freaking awesome. Come on, come here. <laughs> you made me waste it. Come here. Come here, Mac. Ugh, I tried to shot way too freaking early. Come here, God. What a pain in the butt. Come here. Come over to me. Ah, gee. Anyways, like a 50% shot is almost like a 100% shot in the other games, you know? I don't know. It just it feels like it's way easier to kill people. And that might be good because it might make for a faster game too, you know. I mean, people who are on a three DS necessarily could be on a train or something, you know, and not want to uh anyways, oh oh real quick, um here's the fairy bottle that I have right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's really blurry. Um Yeah, that bottle that I'm holding right there that Charizard's holding, or Lizardon's holding. Um see if you pick it up, it does nothing. And you know why? You have to be at 100% damage to actually uh, be able to use it. 100% <laughs> to use it. How freaking dumb is that? So anything else will work at any percentage, but just fairies are at 100% or higher. If you're if you're any lower, it, they literally won't do anything. You can just toss them. They become tossable, useless items at that point. Ah! Dang. I hit the top of that. I did not think I was going to hit the top of that. I thought I was just going to continue flying there. Final results. You lost. All right. Yeah. So if you die once, that's it. Game over. Um, crap. I didn't want to show you that. It's also, it, it's a little hard to navigate this menu. Sometimes you accidentally go down to an option you don't want. Uh, here's where you verse those uh, infinite me's. And uh, the bomb, bomb game is where you hit the bomb. It's kind of, I don't want to say it's like, you know, I don't really want to say it's like, um, 
Angry Birds, but it kind of is in a way, just because you're trying to knock down targets from afar. So you just do a smash move, hits into them, blows up, and that's all you're trying to do is just knock down as many as you can. When it reaches one, it blows up. Try to hit as many targets as you can. As you can see, I didn't even beat my last time high score. Here's my here's my last scores. It's really nice because it shows them down below there. But those are my high scores from previous. And see, they don't clear the board either. They let you do it twice. All right, hurry up and blow up. I already know I lost. I didn't get the high score, obviously. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I got a, a new smash move for Wario. Let's quit. Let's see, is there anything else I can show you? Um, in the training one, you've seen that in other Smash Bros and all the other stuff. I'll just really quick show you editing my me character. So let's say I go into him. I can adjust the stats here. You know, how much I wanted to uh, each ability here, shield, physical, or uh, speed. These are my Smash moves. I have to select them down here. There's like my different smash moves I have. Here's running forward, what does it do? Pressing up and A, what does it do? Down, what does it do? And that's about it. Um, my apparel, as you can tell, my character's kind of weird. But see, fucking toadstool hat if I want it. Cat ears. <laughs> Football helmet. God damn. This is so stupid. Whatever. It's cool though. I like I like being able to edit, but I wish they had more cooler stuff. You know, like like why why would I want a flower in my hair or something stupid like that? Like you could you can come up with better options. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it for Super Smash Brothers. I can't wait for it to come out in the U.S. Uh, in about a month. Yeah, about a month. It's uh, September twenty fifth, so October is its release date, and I can't wait to play it online. So, thanks for watching uh, this quick video, guys. Um, I'll be back with some more software development and some more hardware development videos uh, in the very near future. Thanks for watching.